Hi. In this video I want to show you a very simple example of how to use uh, HTML begin uh, form helper in ISP.NET MVC and uh, how we can uh, turn this simple uh, form to the Ajax form without using Ajax.begin form. I already write, uh, wrote all uh, code to avoid wasting your and my time, so I just uh, will explain uh, how this code works, and uh, that's it. <laughs> okay, so let's begin. Uh, first of all, let's take a look on our form in the browser. We have first name and first name great let's correct this last name first name and last name so uh, right now uh, this is uh, let's comment out this javascript code right now it's uh, a simple html begin form that uh, uses in ISP.NET MVC and uh, this form uh, call index action in test controller by post and uh, this form has uh, ID my form and this is very simple form has uh, first name text box and last name text box and submit button Okay, let's take a look on our form in the browser. We can take a look what the HTML we have. It's just simple form. This uh, simple input type text, as you can see. So uh, let's take a look on our controller. It's test controller. We Oops, here we have a simple index action and HTTP POST action index that uh, use uh, my view model. So let's uh, test uh, our begin form. Uh, I'll attach to the process. Let's put breakpoint here and let's, for example, write name, first name, last name, and let's click submit. So we are here, as we can see, first name, last name, return view, it's partial view, and continue. So in the browser, in the browser, we have result first name, last name. It's, it's a simple post request and simple uh, response. It's not Ajax. So to be able to use Ajax, we uh, can simply add a bunch of JavaScript code without without editing some uh, rather code on the view. Uh, let's true. Uh, I just uncomment my JavaScript that I already wrote and just explain how it's work. So first of all, uh, we have to uh, write uh, my ID here, and uh, here we attach it a submit event for this form. Okay, here we have. Uh, prevent default uh, method that uh, block uh, reloading that block and reloading of the page so I will show you a little bit later and here we have just a simple Ajax call and uh, here we set URL of the form type of HTTP request uh, and all data from the our form 
and in the success section we can get result from the from this method and just uh, set it this result to this div okay let's take a look how it's work refresh our page first name last name okay so right now uh, we are in inside of the action that was called by Ajax and let's put continuous button so and uh, it was J Ajax call let's stop the button and check this again one and one Ajax, Ajax. So as you uh, can see, this is uh, simple Ajax uh, colon. Uh, let's take a look on our network. First call, second call, third call, fourth call, fifth call. So if this is all Ajax colon. So the mind uh, goal of this. Uh, video is to show you that uh, you can use uh, simple uh, HTML begin form for simple request to the server and also you can use uh, this form for Ajax column because uh, it's really easy to make simple begin form and uh, you can just add a bunch of JavaScript code and turn this form to the Ajax form without using of without changing uh, like this uh, Ajax uh, begin form and uh, we have different properties here like uh, Ajax option etc and etc. So uh, to be honest. In my practice, I've never using Ajax begin form because it, it, sometimes it's really too very difficult to settings it up, or for some reason it's not uh, so easy to change this some uh, stuff, some functionality. So I recommend you to use just simple HTML begin form helper with a little JavaScript code here you can uh, do any stuff like validation so let's take a look what we have here put uh, a bugger here and refresh page Bop. Bop one Click submit button. So inside of this uh, form we have uh, action. This is uh, URL posting of form, and we have method it post. And uh, this is this uh, is a form. As you can see, form object. And uh, here we have serialize method that creates a text string in a standard URL and coded notation. You can see we can take a look on this here. Clear and so this is first name Bob and last name Bob one. Okay, let's press F5. Oh, let's put the bug breakpoint submit f5. So after a successful response uh, in the data, we have simple HTML. It's our partial view. Let's take a look on this partial view. So this is our partial view. My test partial view. This is so it's simple HTML with a model. Okay. So. And let's take a look on prevent default. If uh, I just command it out, 
we can see that uh, our page reloading let's, let's uncomment out it and click it once again so right now uh, page is not reloading as you can see so this is a very simple example of how to use uh, HTML begin form and how we can turn this form to the Ajax by using a very simple jQuery code and I really recommend you to use uh, this form and uh, I would say to avoid of uh, Ajax begin form uh, because it's really easy to delete Ajax for this form or add Ajax. Uh, so that's it. Thank you.